So, a question I get asked fairly often is 84 construction really worth the money? And the simple answer to that is yes. It is most definitely worth it just because all the perks that come associated with it. And now with the release of Mahogany Homes, it has gotten considerably cheaper to get, uh, to be able to max your house without completely decimating your bank value. I'll walk through and show you some of the key items why, in my opinion at least, that maxing your house is extremely worth it. Start off here with fairy ring. All you have to do from anywhere, have your drama staff on you, pop your house tablet, and boom, you got a fairy ring right beside of you no matter where you are on the map. The ornate pool restores your prayer, your health, your run energy, your spec bar, and will also remove any poison or anything. Awesome for bossing trips, uh, corporal beast, forecast, whatever it be. Combat ring, great to just go spar with your friends, test out different setups at no risk. The combat dummy, test your max hits with different gear. Gilded altar, for that sweet, sweet extra prayer. Lectern, so you can make your own teleport tablets if you would like. Save some money there. Teleport Nexus. This is one of the key items for me. Having pretty much any teleport you have the magic level to cast, being able to stick it in your Nexus to teleport. A mounted Xerix Talisman with infinite charges. Mounted Dig Site Pendant with infinite charges. Here, all right, we'll kind of backtrack a little bit. All right, so let's say you're doing Corporal Beast. You smash a house tablet. Say you've got your Protect from Magic and Piety on. Run over, hit a pull. back at corp again able to instantly pop your specs off again super easy super fast and efficient way, way to get it done and that brings me to another point the jewelry box being able to have essentially all the teleportation jewelry except for like the um, necklace of passage and a burning amulet right at the tip of your fingers just one house teleport tab away the occult altar being able to swap between your spell books anytime you want without having to use someone else's house and the workshop you have your armor stand to repair barrels gear can make heraldic armor and stuff on the banner stand. Got your crafting or your clockmaker's table to make like clockwork cats, actual clockworks, anything like that. You got tools on the wall you can pull off of if you need them. A spirit tree in your house. And then the uh, pet menagerie so you can store your pets and um, just have them roaming around in your bank and 
now there's a new addition to League's Room, where if you did League, you can kind of flex your accomplishments. And this over here is a big one, especially for Iron Man, which I don't have that much stuff in here, but like in your toy box, like all your event items can get stored in here. So you don't have to worry about clogging your bank up with all that stuff. Got your fancy dress box for like random event stuff. You can store capes, your cape bricks so they're not in your bank. Got your magic wardrobe where you can store magic gear and stuff in there. And also like skilling outfits like they for the winter dog and stuff. And graceful. It's your armor case. It's like bomber jacket, castle wars gear, clue, hunter elf, ornate, ham robe, treasure chest. That's gonna be like your clue scroll rewards. You can stick in there. And then um I'll show the dungeon. Say if you've got a PK skull active, rather than going out and actively getting yourself PK'd to remove it, or um, just waiting for it to time out, you can come here, turn challenge mode on, and if you build this pit here, you can sit here, take damage, and suicide yourself, and you'll just pop out right outside of your house. And it'll remove the skull when you die, so to speak. And also, it's kind of overall a little bit of flex. You can show off your achievements and accomplishments and stuff. You've got your quest point list on the wall all the quests you haven't, haven't done, got your slayer log, boss log, all that stuff, and also once you do have the max house, you can go to world 330, have your house in Remington, and um, you can uh, host, and you can actually make pretty good money and tips hosting, the very first time I hosted, I ended up with like, is either 33 or 35 mil in tips just for maybe the hour that I was there, hour and a half. I mean, there again, that can be hit or miss. You can have really good luck with tips sometimes, or you can get next to nothing other times. You're just relying off of who's in your house and their generosity. But... Having a max house, in my opinion, is one of the best things I ever did. And by max house, I'm saying like all the useful items. Like my construction is 84, which is where you can get the fully upgraded Nexus. And then the level for that, I believe, you get the uh, jewelry box and the occult uh, altar. But it's just awesome. Switch spellbooks anytime you want. Teleport pretty much anywhere. Restore your health, stamina, spec, all that. Just with one teleport tablet. It's an awesome investment that I would recommend to anybody. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.